Few tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Goodbye, Father. To hell with this place. Let's check out Hades, roguelike dungeon crawler developed by Supergiant Games. This will be their fourth game, and they are becoming known for their unique art style and quality gameplay. Their previous titles are Bastion, Transistor, and Pyre. In Hades, you play as Zagreus as he attempts to escape the underworld and take his rightful home in Olympus. Whenever you die, you will restart in this spot, but the dungeon rooms will be realigned, so every playthrough will be different. Expect to die frequently, but this is how the story advances. It will also give you a chance to get new weapons and upgrades that you can keep permanently, and in turn reduce the frequency of death. You have four basic abilities, a dash, which is mainly a defensive move, but can be upgraded to cause damage. You have a basic weapon attack, which is a sword slash when you begin the game, but will change depending on what weapon you are wielding. You have a cast attack ranged ability, which requires an infernal soul to use. You must retrieve this soul each time to use your cast ability again. You will be able to acquire more infernal souls as the game progresses. You also have a special attack which is dependent on your current weapon. With the sword equipped, it's a ground slam area of effect attack. I'm leaving. Try and stop me. This game uses a WASD control scheme, and I'm more used to controlling these isometric games with a mouse, like Titan Quest or Diablo 3. I still find myself trying to click on the ground to move from time to time. Old habits are hard to break. She is. Okay, here comes our first upgrade. It's got to be her. Then here goes nothing. <clears throat> In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hail, noble cousin. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. These God-granted abilities are lost on death. I'm going to start with the cast upgrade. Thank you, Goddess. Your power fused with mine. This should be good. The symbol on the door indicates what the reward will be for clearing the coming room. This room will grant a key that can be used to unlock new weapons or upgrades. This is important to know when you have multiple doors to choose from. this.
Numbskulls. There are very few opportunities to recover health, so damage avoidance is your top priority. In the name of Hades. I'm going to go with the special attack upgrade this time. Each exit has its own reward. The underworld's power. Purple gems are used for permanent upgrades, but you have to wait until after you die to use them. Nice meeting you. In the name of Hades. These gold coins can be used to buy items from Karen when you find his room. How many now? There is a slight delay before you can move again after using some of your abilities, which can get you into trouble with fast moving mobs. But I can fight. I think I hear the river. The infernal wares of the Stygian boatman Charon lie sprawled about. Available for sale, Doom ever would be willing to quench the boatman's great thirst for riches. That would be me. I'm going to use my coins here to buy back some health.
satisfied. That'll keep me going for a bit. for you. power. Skulls. Next. Mobs have yellow health bars like this, it means they have some kind of armor that you have to break down before you can get to their normal red health bar. Mine. This chest will trigger a survival event for a chance at some extra items. Although everything about this game is pretty much a survival event.
you waste my time. There. Nice. Oh no. I see you there. So now we get a chance to meet some characters and buy some upgrades and advance Damn the story it. a little bit. I'm home. <clears throat> yes, carry on everyone, don't mind me. <laughs> Welcome to the House of Hades where... Wait, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, don't be sad though, pretty much everybody dies sometime. Some of us more than others. back already stupid boy I told you nobody gets out of here whether alive or dead well, how was your wanton ransacking of my domain greetings father my ransacking was a delight thank you for asking so I'll just be on my way again be on your way indeed what do I care you shall never reach the surface go See for yourself. Cerberus? I haven't seen you since the Tower of Judgment. <laughs> Infernal watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions, from purest joy to deepest melancholy. You watch over things for me, won't you, boy? You know I'd take you if I could. You've returned. The House of Hades, that dark and lavishly appointed lair of the Underworld's king, is home not just to him, but to his willful progeny. You know I can hear you, old man. It's locked. Stay out of there. Good to see you, lad. Despite the circumstances, remember your training out there. The pain of death is but another obstacle. And fear is for the weak. Take care, Achilles. You have come home. Do not despair and hold to your resolve, child. Tell me something. Has the goddess Athena thus been true to her word and her willingness to lend you her support? She has, Nyx. I'm grateful that you put us into contact and explained to her the situation that I'm in. It gladdens me to hear it. Seldom do Olympians consort with those born of the Underworld. Yet your circumstances seem to do cause for an exception. She shall make a powerful ally. I'm back, Room. Did you miss me? The bedchambers of Prince Zagreus lie in a perpetual state of utter disarray. Despite his lord and master of the house, repeatedly insisting that he pick everything up. Oh, come on, it's not that bad, is it? Night and darkness guide me. Upgrades you get here are permanent even in death. I'm going to buy another Infernal Soul so I can use the cast ability more often. And I'll also get a one-point heal for entering a new room. It's not much, but any extra health is precious. The keys can be used here to unlock abilities, or they can be used in the next room to unlock new weapons. My power grows. Oh, 
Okay. I only have enough to unlock the bow, so let's give it a try. There we go. Koronacht, the heart seeker. Let's deal some death. Psst, I can escape oh, yeah. through that pink window there. Nice place you got here, boyo. But enough with the small talk already. I'm here to do a job. So let me have it. Give me everything you got. I don't remember having you on payroll, mate. Who's your supervisor? Oh, I'm not about to wrap my sources, pal. Just try and beat it out of me. If you insist. <gasps> later. Well, time to go get killed again. Thunder. Is that... Is this really him? Okay. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Greetings there, young man. Look, your father's always been rather difficult, and he is not so much as cold in quite some time. You'll have a better home where you belong, here on Olympus, and to help you on your journey, have my blessing. This will add lightning damage to my cast attack. Let's try that. Lord Uncle Zeus lending his support. Never thought I'd see the day, or night, whenever. of such innumerable, ever-shifting, interlocking chambers. The underworld of Lord Hades all but guarantees the dead shall there remain until the end of time. Good thing I'm not dead. Mm. More louts. Key. This can unlock something back home. Show yourselves. Got me. No way to patch up. Got to keep going. Surprise. Come <laughs> on. 
so much for them. For safekeeping. Again. I didn't last very long that time, and on that note, I'll end here. So far, I like this game, and I'm not typically a fan of roguelikes. I like the upgrade system, and the combat feels polished, even though it's in early access. I may do some more videos as the game is updated on its way to final release. If you've played this game, let me know what you think about it in the comments. That's all for now. I'm the Game Attendant. Thanks for watching.